It's the first day of school! Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Or a complete disaster. There's a good chance for probably both. But you know what, I'm here for it, I'm excited. And I can't wait to meet my kiddos. So it is about 7.45. I got my computer thing all set up. My slideshow with our little greetings. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna meet, say our greeting, and then I'm going to read the book. From there, I'm gonna show them our Google Canvas and walk them around in it, kind of let them play with it while showing them how to split screens and open up a new tab, all that stuff. And then from there, we're taking a break, going into math. I'm gonna show them Next Gen Math and Freckle, how to do their math facts, homework assignments, and all of that good stuff. Then moving into our ELD SEL time, which they're gonna have a choice board where we can go on a virtual field trip, do an art hub, or a Generation Genius science experiment thing. But okay, I'm gonna put you guys down and officially get in the zone. Not a fan. I don't have words right now. I'm sorry. Hey, it's the end of the day and I didn't have the emotional ability to speak until now. So, needless to say, today did not go well. I was wrong. Excited was not the word of the day. In fact, I didn't say the word excited after 9 a.m. It was depressing. It was just, this isn't teaching, you know? And I thought my first year teaching was rough. I thought I cried after my first day. This was, this was something else. No, I'm not, I'm not a fan of what is, is going on. I, I just want my kids back in my classroom. And it, it's not even like it was a bunch of technical difficulties. It wasn't even that. It was more so just mourning the fact that these kids aren't in my classroom, that I can't help them, that besides screen sharing and showing them how to go about doing something, like that is literally the most I can do. And let me tell you, that I didn't get us very far. And it's just really hard. And I know it's just the first day, but I legit cried in my car on my lunch break. And I'm not a crier. And to be honest, I'm gonna go home and take a bath and probably cry some more and then start it up because tomorrow's a new day, right? And it gets better, right? I really freaking hope so. Don't get me wrong, I love meeting my kiddos and I'm excited to see their flip grids tomorrow, those who can manage to figure that out. And the couple that I did see were super cute. Did they fully understand the assignment of two truths and a lie? No, no they did not, but they're getting used to recording themselves. One little girl is so cute. She clearly watches people's vlogs because she's just like, here I am again. This is my second video. And I'm like, girl, get it. And so there's pros like that. Like that is what made me stop crying at lunch. So there's chances this can turn around. It's just gonna be rough for a little while. And I just have to accept that it is out of my control. And I know I said that in the beginning. It's just be aware of what you can't control and what you can't and don't let what you can't control drag you down. But my God, what I couldn't control slapped me in the face today and was just ripped my heart out of my chest. It was just not, it's more so not that today was bad in ways that like it could have been better. It was more so just, wow. My kids really aren't in my classroom and I'm gonna cry again. It's more so just mourning that. Mourning that this is totally different and not having that experience and that we don't know how long it's going to be before we can get that classroom experience again. <sighs> okay, and yeah, so that's clearly more so what the deal is. Can you not pull out in front of me? How did you think that was a good idea? I'm okay. I will be okay. It's just a day. Granted, it's the first day of school, but it's just a day, and tomorrow's a new day. And if that sucks, then the next day's a new day too, and eventually we'll get to where we have a good day, right? Right? All right, I'm pulling up to home. I'm gonna sit in the bath, read a book, not cry, and I'll pick you guys up tomorrow. better day today 
I survived and I'm not on the floor. So really today was a lot better. Still pretty exhausted by like 10.45. Like that last section is just, yeah, me and the kids, I think we're all just kind of like, let's just do this, let's wrap it up. <laughs> but we made it, it's lunch. I'm going to grab lunch real quick and then I'll log back on. So lately what I've been doing is, so after lunch is our ELD SEL, no, 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 it's not. So after lunch is our student support and where I would make calls or Wednesdays are our PD time. So what I've been doing is just, and then logging back on Zoom. And then that way, if the kids have any questions about Canvas, their homework, any of that, they can log on and ask questions. So yeah, uh, let me walk you through what we did today. Okay, so I've been having a Google slide every day that walks me through everything we need to with all of our links and stuff. But I also have all of these links on Canvas. It's more so I don't wanna confuse the kids by them seeing links that they don't necessarily see. And plus Google slides is just a lot more simple. Every morning I start with a good morning slide, how we greet each other. I say, good morning class. They say, good morning. And then they get to pick whichever one. So after our morning greeting, we do a ed puzzle, which just tends to be about feelings and beginning of school and stuff like that. And that kind of just starts discussion on how they're feeling. And we just kind of share some stories and talk a little bit. Then I do a read aloud. Today we read the pout pout fish goes to school. It was super cute because it directly tied in to our fact one, you are smart. Fact two, you can get it. Fact three, you belong. So four, don't forget it. And this tied along really great because I've been having a phrase that I want them to say and this led perfectly into that. So I have my kids say every day, I have grit, I am kind, I am important. So I taught them that today and then we repeated it kind of throughout the day and they just got so pumped, they lit up. I had to explain what grit was, but really grit was like the perfect word that I felt had multiple meanings that I really liked. And I taught them a new word out of their dictionary. So that is the phrase that I'm using in my class and it makes me really happy seeing them all pumped. So after I read aloud today, we did a boom card. I just started boom cards. This was the first one and I just shared my screen. I didn't necessarily assign it to them just because we're having trouble. We're having technical troubles. So I shared it and was able to walk through COVID coronavirus because I know that's something that they hear of all the time, but I want them to know exactly what it is and why we're taking these precautions and all of that. So just really get on the same page with it. And that took a lot longer than expected. I learned how to share remote on Zoom, but it would only let me share it with like two students. But anyway, I let them control my screen. So they got to use my mouse to like move stuff in the boom cards and whatnot. We didn't get to finance today because boom card took so long. For math, we, we didn't get to math. For our ELD SEL section, which is about where we kind of lost it. We watched this kid president video on Edpuzzle and I really liked it because they had awesome questions. Like, do you feel like you matter? What can I do to make you feel like you matter? Then it also asked favorite book and how you're feeling about the school year, stuff like that. So it's really nice general discussion, but also gives me insight into what makes them feel important. And of course I had that one student that's like, maybe if I not do my homework and not do assignments, that makes me feel important. And I was like, well, it makes me feel important when you do do your homework and assignments. I said, but I see you though. I get where you're going with it. Definitely worth a shot, but no. <laughs> so. After we did the Ed Puzzle, I went onto our Flipgrid because they had assignment number one on Flipgrid last night, which was to share two truths and a lie. Hi, my name is Miss Blair. I speak two languages. I used to live by the beach and I can't whistle. So I was able to show three of those kids videos to the class and then together we tried to guess which one the lie was. So that was super fun for them to kind of get to know each other a little bit. And it's just amazing how bad kids are at lying. However, there was one kid that had a lie. I thought it was a lie. I really hoped it was a lie and it wasn't. I didn't share that one to the class though. I hid that one because luckily on Flipgrid, you can preview and hide the ones that, yeah. So today I told him, hey babe, I'm gonna need you to redo your lie one just because it was a little inappropriate. He's like, that one wasn't the lie. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna need you to make a new one. As expected, there is always one. There's always one. But anyway, today's assignment is to tell us your three favorite things, kind of show us tell a little bit about it, but they're having a lot of fun with it. So high hopes for that one. Okay, for homework, I'm literally just moving these Flipgrid and Freckle things to my main board on there because that just tends to be more simple. I tried doing it a couple other ways and it just wasn't working for me. So I don't know if it's a Bitmoji classroom Google slide thing or a canvas thing or a me thing, but I'm just, this is what works for now. I'm going with it. <sighs> okay, I'm tired. It's about 12.15. I'm gonna go heat up my lunch and enjoy my lunch and then log back in to see those kiddos. <laughs> okay, it is 3.15. I got 
my stuff. <laughs> and I'm heading out today right on time because all of my boyfriend's gym equipment is in. And so I'm gonna go help them set up and most likely not really help because they're a bajillion pounds, but I'll point and help them figure out where to put things. So, all right, see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. All right, so it is about 7.40. I'm just getting ready to start the day. I got coffee. If you saw my Instagram post, you see that I've had coffee every day. And I'm actually getting past the just needing sweet drinks. Granted, this is like super sweet, but now I'm kind of want to try new things. So drop your favorite coffee in the comments down below so I can try some new stuff. Today, going to start off with another Ed puzzle. This one's going to be another inside out one, talking about different feelings. And then we're going to move into a read aloud. I'm thinking of reading the spooky tale of the pre peacock. I always like that story. I think it has a really good message behind it. And then we're gonna dive into phonics decoding syllables. That's gonna be the first little chunk. Then we'll go into math, where we're talking about patterns, even and odd numbers, that kind of stuff. All right, I'm gonna set you down. Maybe I'll record a little bit in the morning. Sounds good. Okay. I have someone in here that wrote my name on accident. You're okay, sweetie. Give me a thumbs up if your name is, yeah? Good morning, but try not to touch your names. Keep them the same, because I'm still learning your guys' names. So it really helps for me to be able to see your face and see your name underneath, and then I'll memorize it. Show me thumbs up if you were able to hear me. Yes. Brown, we can't hear you. Oh, it muted me. Why did it mute me? Okay. Sorry guys. Good morning, class. Oh, and then pick your good morning. I'm doing air hug. I'm giving all of you guys big air hugs. Done with class for today. I forgot to do high frequency words. Dang it. Okay, so I did cut you off because uh, I don't I don't remember why, but I cut you off. But what we ended up doing was even and odd. I would write a number on the board and they would show me if it was even or odd. We had a little song that I made up at the top of my head and I'm sure it's very common, but zero. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Even numbers. Even numbers. You guys got it. And that really helped them remember which numbers they had to end in in order for it to be even. When in doubt, make a song. <laughs> so that was math. And I feel like they started to get a lot stronger with it by the end. And then from there, they were just so wiped. Today, like this was probably the most distracted and stuff they were. I had a kid playing video games and I was like, are you serious right now? And he's like, what? You're not playing video games. And he's like, I'm not. I have the same PlayStation controller. Yes, you are. And he's like, well, I don't have a paper or pencil. I know your family. Yes, you do. Go find it. Ugh. Ugh. So that's a little struggle, but I mean, is as to be expected, they're kids. I would be doing the same thing. So I can't really blame them. I just have to make things a little more interesting and more fun. So after math, we did end up doing their choice board that I showed you yesterday. So we got to that and Art Hub was the winner. So we did a back to school drawing. I'll show you mine, that is a disaster. Um, art is not my thing. So here's that. And we did that towards the end of the day. So tonight they will color it and then they will come show us the completed version tomorrow. Well, I'm going to heat up my lunch and then get everything ready for tomorrow.
I'm so tired. This is the longest week of my life. <sighs> but it's Thursday, gotta make it through today and tomorrow. Then we're done with the first week of school. Oh my goodness, it's only been one week. Okay, well, logging in, getting ready to see my kiddos. I have about 10 minutes. I'm going to, oh, those, God, this, this is gonna be rough. All right, let's kick today's butt. Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so impressed. You're so good at showing up on time. That's rule number one. I'm seeing all your shiny faces. I have grit. I am kind. I am important. Awesome, you guys rock. Give your whole class a high five. Class five. Woo! Okay, great way to start the day. So I want to take this time because a lot of stuff is online right now and we're doing videos online, which I am loving your guys' flip grids and stuff. But keep in mind, any time that you are putting yourself online, it's out there. So you always want to make sure that you are on your best behavior. You need to ask yourself, would I be okay with Miss Blair seeing this? Would I be okay with my family seeing this? And if you say yeah, then go ahead, okay? But if you have to think, oh no, Miss Blair or my mom wouldn't like if I said that, then we probably shouldn't say it online, okay? I know it seems like a safe place because it's your personal computer, but know that it's out there. So we need to make sure that we are safe when we're on the internet, okay? All right guys, so I am officially done with kiddos for the day. I had my lunch and then went back and did our student support hour. I was able to get a couple kids tested on high frequency wars and they did shockingly well. I am super stoked. Okay, so we did a review with even and odds. Pretty much I would just write a number on the whiteboard and they would have to show me, but explain. Because I would ask them to use a complete sentence. So for example, I would say, okay, 25 is what? Even or odd because because, because, because we are going over this word a ton because I feel like that's like the most important word. Then from there, we went into place value, ones, tens, hundreds, explaining that whole thing. And then we did some ourselves. And then they walked me through how to draw the place value, find the place value for these numbers. From there, we watched a couple more of our students flip grids, got to know about them a little bit more with their two twos in a line, which the kids love. They love that part. So at least we got that going for us. And then that's loading up. But we got to do another choice board where they got to pick what activity they wanted us to do. Yesterday we did the art hub and today we did a Sequoia National Park virtual field trip. So this is on Nearpod and it is super cool. Let me flip around and show you in more detail. Okay, so here's Nearpod, and they have this thing now where they can attach it to a Zoom. So here's our class code, and then from here, they will have to walk through with me. Let me go back. Kind of so it kind of tells us our objective for the day, some background, our essential, okay, here we go. Essential question, background, what this is about, and then from here, you can kind of control it. It's one of those 360 pictures. If the students were able to log on, they were able to control this screen themselves. They would still have to walk through the background and essential question and stuff with us, but as far as looking around on this picture, they were able to control it. However, I only had about three students that were able to minimize Zoom and pull up a separate window and do all this. So. We're working on the tech stuff. I'm still trying to get kids to do the homework for this week. So, so far we've only done Flipgrid and Freckle. And I have maybe half my kids that have done Flipgrid and five out of 26 that have done Freckle. So, yay. 
Well, this is my prep, so I'm going to set up my slides for what I'm gonna teach tomorrow. All right, well, that is probably gonna be it for today. I'll pick you up if anything exciting happens, and if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Bet you didn't expect to see me jumping in on Friday since I was so tired yesterday. But despite being tired and despite not even getting home till 10.30 or 11 last night, I'm still more energetic today than I was yesterday. I don't know how that works. I have a theory though. I think that my exhaustion has just turned into pure delusion and I'm just like chilling in my own little world having a good time. We've made it and I'm done with the kid portion of the day. I'm in my prep right now and just, today was pretty good. We did some phonics. Oh, we watched our class dojo videos for growth mindset. We started today, so it'll take us into next week. I think there's like five videos. And just guys, it is really good to go over because I had at least half my class think that you were just either born smart or you weren't. So it was really good to teach them, no honey, you're good, just give your brain some exercise. Let's work it out and you, you can become smart. So that really surprised me. I thought they would know, but guess not, they're kids. So a reminder that these lessons are very important for them, even if we're just watching a little five minute video and talking about it. Then we went into math and for math, we again went over even and odd numbers, place value, and this time I introduced the hundreds part of our H2 chart and we did a boom card. So I bought boom cards. But guys, it's like 25 bucks for 150 students and all sorts of boom card activities. And they seem so fun and interactive. I, I'm really leaning towards that and Flipgrid for majority of my homework assignments. So I'm gonna set them up for that. And hopefully it is simple for them to be able to log on and complete them. Maybe embed them into Canvas. I'm not 100% how that works out, but I'm gonna figure it out. I have yet to find one thing that like all my kids can do. It's a challenge, but challenge accepted. We are going to figure this out, guys. We're going to get it. Okay. I also tested a couple more kids on high frequency words today, and then we did our show and tell because it's Friday. So they were super excited to just get to share, but I still had kids that didn't care to share or have anything to share. So give it another week or two and they will probably be the ones that are sharing nonstop. Oh my gosh, like this bow is obnoxiously big. Why, why do I need a ribbon that's as big as my face? All right, I'm gonna set you down and just do something productive. The week is done. We've made it through the first week of school, AKA the longest week of my life. Now I have to go home and rejuvenate. We're gonna grab our stuff and head out because I love this place, but I need to get out of this place. Light number one. Let's see if I can hit it with my tripod. All right, guys, I'm going to start on my trek back home. Hopefully it went a lot faster than this week actually felt. So if you like my first week of virtual teaching vlog, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys.